r slash today I frigged up. Bubbly function 5884 says. Today I fricked up be asking the guy, M30, I, F30, like if he wanted to kiss. Obligatory didn't happen today, but last week I'm dating a guy for a few weeks, and we had a talk about our dates, where he said that he didn't have a girlfriend yet. That's okay for me, so we are taking things slow, very slow. After a fight with myself over the last few weeks whether I should kiss him or not, I came to the conclusion that I'll try it after our next date and to ask for consent before trying to kiss him. So the day comes, we have fun, are laughing and giggling and all is fun and games, right? My heart is racing, because I can't stop thinking about kissing him, it feels like I'm drunk with anticipation. It's now late, he wants to go home, so I'm going with him to the front door. Normally we just hug when saying goodbye, so I look him in the eyes, heart racing like crazy, and ask do you mind if I kiss you? And what comes back? Eh, I don't know. You know I'm an indecisive person. And a very frightened look on his face. And... What did I do? I laughed, I'm hurt, frightened and ashamed. So I laugh, saying that's a decision I can't make for you, hug him and say goodbye. Frick. Everything was going so good and now that. The next day, I wake up to a message, an apology and the promise from him to explain what's going on. So I wait, at noon I get an explanation. He is afraid of touching others and getting touched. A year ago he couldn't even hug anyone, and he is so proud that that isn't a big problem anymore. He don't like discussing it via text, so we have to meet again and now I can just wait, anxiously, because I don't want to lose him, but I'm afraid that he don't want to go further in our relationship. Edit, spelling off the word lose, even if I don't know why some people are offended by the other way I wrote it. Too long, didn't read, met a guy, started dating, asked to kiss him, and frightened the shit out of him. Now I have to wait for further explanation, and how the relationship is continuing. Tistic says. Sounds like he's working through some serious personal issues, and here's the important bit, that he trusts you enough to be vulnerable. No freak, up here. Just be a good person, and be there for him. Bubbly function 5884 says. Yeah, I think you are right, my, frick, uppies, that I frightened him so much, and have to start again, I think. Shrubbifier1729 says. Nap, no, frick ups here. Sharing the first kiss after a date, let alone several dates, is normal and even expected. You couldn't have known about his issues, and handled it like a pro. Balls in his court now. Jimbob19304 says. Sounds like there's going to be some mental health or trauma issues here. Just be grateful you trusted your instincts and asked rather than jumping on him in a fit of passion. The fact he apologized and wants to talk is a good thing. Bubbly function 5884 says. Consent is pretty important to me, even if the easy solution, just to kiss him, cross my mind. I hope he stays this sincere with me for the future, and that I didn't frighten him off. Sarah Kiyoi says. You are a good person. Some people, even women, seem to think consent works differently with women and men, but it really shouldn't, and your story proves that, I don't think you, frick, it up, I think you did the best thing possible under these circumstances and he's lucky to have someone like you. I hope he's able to work through his issues and you too make it out. Af Jones says. When I was in school I had an absolutely massive crush on this girl, who I thought was way out of my league. One day when hanging out at the park we ended up alone briefly, and she asked me to kiss her. I said no. To this day I have no idea why. Smilly12345 says. Deep-seated Shrek fear that you would turn her into an ogre. Toka101 says. Absolutely no, frick, up, you sound like an amazing, sensitive and patient person, 
and considering the issues he's obviously dealing with he is extremely lucky to have met you. XXX cool kid XD XXX says. I really don't think you should think of this as a frick up in the slightest, if anything our view of romance and how smooth everything is supposed to be can be detrimental to romance in my opinion. Let yourself be a person instead of a movie character. Awkward is beautiful, you put yourself out there, and you're pretty cool for doing that. Also he opened up about why, so the issue doesn't seem to be that he doesn't want to. Shatterpoint887 says. You asked for consent, and found out that it would have gone poorly if you hadn't. That's a categoric victory. CDNCBN says. I mean, isn't this the whole point of asking for consent? r slash today I fricked up. The Bletfin says. Today I fricked up be missing a meeting with one of my idols. So there's this webcomic artist I'm a big fan of that I support on Patreon. He allowed me to come on his podcast to tell my work stories with a date and time. I set about writing down three pages worth of amusing experiences I've had at my job, Stagerhand, along with various points I'd like to make, which having listened to his show I felt he would find worthwhile. I get my mix set up and everything a couple hours before the meeting. I figure that I can take a nap and go do. Alarm gets me up on time. I go to my computer. And learn that he's an hour off me in time zones, which I hadn't calculated for. He's polite when I enter the zoom meeting and still there, but very firm that this is not going to happen ever. He just wanted to tell me that directly. I don't feel that there's anything I can do, but say I understand and log out immediately, then I come here to share this. It's a bit awkward as I fairly regularly respond to the guy's tweets and such, and unless I end my Patreon subscription he's probably going to feel uncomfortable doing Patreon shoutouts to me. I have no idea if I should let this be a clean disconnection, or if I should just leave him alone for a while, and resume being a quiet fan after due wait. Too long, didn't read, missed zoom meeting for podcast episode by most of an hour, now can't communicate with artist I'm a fan of. Update, I forgot to mention that, while I didn't account for the time zone difference, he did in the original message. He's not the dick, I am. Baltinadist says. I'm gonna be a little bubble bursting here. He sounds like a dick. Time zone mix ups happen. He sat on the zoom for a full hour just to tell you that you screwed yourself in his eyes? That's not professional behavior. It sounds to me like you've built a parasocial relationship in your head with him, and his actual self is a jerk. Howard416 says. Yeah, he waited an hour. Boy ain't right. Lestabity says. I have meetings in different time zones all the time. After 10 minutes I double check to see that I have the time right, then I contact them to see what's up. Dude just straight up waited for an hour. No attempts to figure out what was up. What a dick. Daflash00 says. Extremely weird reaction by the artist. Dispassion says. There's a reason for that quote never meet your heroes. I'd probably just move on entirely. Sounds like an asshole for not understanding, especially if you've been in his circle a while and Patreon as well. Dennis0500 says. The guy sounds like a dick so feel free to not support him anymore. On the other hand, if you want to support he also sounds like the type of person who would never put two and two together and realize that the person from the call is the same person that he's shouting out due to a donation. Neither Spicky says. One time I arranged to meet someone in a different time zone in a chat. They gave me the time and I adjusted it to my own time zone, only to be there at the wrong time, because the time they gave was for my time zone. People need to specify time zones when arranging remote meetings. P. Kevbot28 says. Saw one other person mentioning working with people across multiple time zones and I want to double down on their response. 
To set the stage, day to day, I work with people in the 4 minus time zones, no ax slash high. I've worked sporadically with people in India, Norway, Britain, and Chile. A lot of people I work with live in Arizona and they have no daylight savings, so parts of the year they're one hour behind, parts of the year they're two hours behind. Background out of the way even with syncs up outlook calendars and notes in the body of an email slash invite, sometimes people get the time wrong. Sitting around for 10 minutes and sending a follow up to reconnect later is standard. Waiting an hour would only occur if I had started working on something else and never closed the zoom window, this hasn't happened, but I could see it. Waiting an hour to tell you directly that this isn't happening is psychotic. Maybe it's a bad day, maybe he's a dick, nothing warrants that behavior, and I'm sorry that happened. Eliable says. The normal thing would have not been there. He waited, hoping you would show up to tell you off. We call those people assholes. I'd share his name here, and see what Reddit does to assholes. International 288 says. Get better idols. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.